Were you right? 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 Yeah! So, Limbo finally got verified, and clearly this is a big deal, as not only is it a new top 10, but now the hardest memory level in Jump Trash, as well as the most anticipated Extreme Demon to release this year. Except maybe Silent Club Step, but we don't really talk about that. So today, I'm going to explain why this is not only the best top 10 that we have seen in years, but how this level shows that an Extreme Demon doesn't have to be top 1 in order to be popular. Also, if you enjoyed today's video, please subscribe. I plan on uploading a lot in December, so if you like this video, then subscribe to see more. Thanks. Okay. On with the video. So to start off, the actual concept of Limbo is extremely interesting in and of itself. The actual theming of the level we'll get into a bit later, but essentially it has some lore implications because this level does have its own lore, which if you guys would like a video on, I'd be glad to make one. However, if you are more interested in that, Minecap has said more about that in the past. But the level's actual concept itself is simply just to be one of the hardest memory levels in the game. This is already interesting as in order for to achieve this goal, it has to make new gimmicks for memory and things such as the iconic key maze that every knows at the end of the level, and even smaller things. For example, in Carmel's part, every trigger orb that you hit is sort of a start and stop button for all of the rotating objects. So first off, this is overall going to be more interesting than just your average upcoming top one, because it's mostly aimed to be a very hard memory level, and not necessarily it has to be number one on the demons list, which is something that we've seen hundreds of times at this point. This is mostly because it's more original, so we haven't seen it as much, and it's actually executed very well throughout the level, as almost every part has its own gimmick. In addition, to being a memory level in general, which we don't see as much of often in and of itself. So the idea for the level is pretty good. So now let's go on to the gameplay. So the overall gameplay in this level is obviously going to be extremely difficult, as that's kind of the point. It's supposed to be a difficult memory gameplay. But also because of how memory works in Geometry Dash, no matter how hard the level is or how easy the level is, it's going to take some time to beat because you actually need to learn and memorize the memory gameplay. And on top of that, the key maze at the end is quite literally randomized, so you have to be paying attention to the keys that are switching, as well as doing the wave spam in the background. Overall, I'm not sure if the level is actually fun, but Regardless if it is or not, memory isn't really for everyone anyways, and at the very least, it has a very innovative structure throughout the level. But what I really appreciate about Limbo is how long it is. Recently, with top 10s in general and upcoming top 1s, they're always around like a minute long. For example, Sukupin Circles isn't even a minute long, Slaughterhouse is just over a minute long, same thing with Acheron, Abyss of Darkness is two minutes long, but... Nobody likes Abyss of Dark. This is something we used to see a lot more in the top 10, which was very long levels, which means that actually watching someone play the level is much more of an experience, because it's a longer level, so when the player is getting farther into the level, it's sort of a bigger deal. As opposed to Slaughterhouse, where you pretty much just get stuck at the pre-drop for 90% of the stream, and then you get a couple far attempts, and like, that's it. Whereas with this, there is a slower buildup, and the overall intensity of the level is not just shoved into a 20-second portion. It also shows just how much effort was put into this level, which is ultimately what I respect the most in Extreme Demons, is that it doesn't do just the bare minimum in order for it to be a hard memory demon. It actually goes above and beyond in terms of gameplay, and in other aspects as well. So now let's talk about the decoration of the level. I don't personally think the decoration is the best it possibly could be, but I think for this level, it fits perfectly. Sure, it might not be the most AP team amazing thing that you've seen in your entire life, but overall it's still pretty good decoration, and honestly that's just what this level needs. Not every level has to be a masterpiece of 200 million objects in order for it to be considered the best level ever, because if a level has amazing decoration and horrible gameplay, people just aren't going to play it, because decoration isn't necessarily everything. The decoration is like a solid 8 out of 10 for me personally, but honestly this level doesn't even need it to be perfect, so I think it still works. At the very least, it's better than like every top 10 we've had in like the past year. Part of why Limbo is so cool in comparison to the rest of the top 10 is partially because Limbo is cool in and of itself, but at the same time, there's like no competition, dude, like come on. Also, like I did mention before, this level is very original in its concept. That also applies to the gameplay and the decoration. Because the gameplay came up with its own new gimmicks, it has its own thing for each of the parts which obviously makes it more interesting and more original, added on to the fact that it's already supposed to be a memory level, which is already not something that we see too often in Extreme Demons, in very hard Extreme Demons, such as top 20s, top 10s, or even top 1s. And the decoration, in my opinion at least, is very original. Again, because the gameplay is structured in such a way that it kind of will look original regardless of what style you use. And also, it's not Hell Theme. Oh my god, I was so... I'm so glad that this level is in Hell Theme. Imagine what this level would be like if all of it was just red. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad it's not Hell Theme. There are more than just one color, you know. I mean, yeah, levels like Slaughterhouse still look good, but what if Slaughterhouse was gay? You can't tell me this doesn't look better than Slaughterhouse. So yeah, Limbo uses more than just one color and black. Thank you. So now onto the theming of the level. According to Minecraft's original description from the full level showcase, 
Limbo is themed around being trapped between heaven and hell, with the player not knowing where to go. It's up to them to decide their fate and venture throughout the wonders of different technological and demonic hallucinations. So basically, it's a maze between heaven and hell. That's very oversimplified, but it, it sounds cool. And the theming is very well executed in my opinion. It very much feels like a chaotic maze where you do not know where to go, and the originality of each part in its own gimmick, especially the key maze, very much emphasizes this. The demonic mechanical theme definitely is prevalent too as well, so overall I think the theming was also well executed. Okay, so now sort of an overview. Basically, I think this level's maybe like a 9 out of 10 or something like that. I haven't really rated levels on a scale of 10 in the past, but this is like, you know what, 9.5 out of 10. We'll say that. Now, the reason why I think this is better than every top 10 that we've had in the past few years is because, well, one, the bar has been set so low with our more recent levels that have been put into the top 10. With the exception of Mayhem, pretty much every level is just kind of trash. Basically, the community just can't agree on which level is harder than which level, and which level looks better than the other level, but it seems like everyone pretty much universally appreciates, at least to some extent, Limbo. And I think Limbo shows that a level, if it tries hard enough, can be very successful without needing to be top one. There are so many upcoming extreme demons that are simply just made top one in order to get attention, and I'm hoping that Limbo will start to sway the community into just making cool new original projects in order to stand out instead of just making something pointlessly difficult for some random British kid to slave over for six months. Of course, there will still always be pointless top ones, like that's just sort of something that will always exist, I think. But I hope that Limbo sort of helps usher in a new era in Geometry Dash where not everyone is just obsessed with whatever's going to be the new top one, because recently, those levels hadn't even been very good. And while it would be awesome for Limbo to be top one because it'd probably be the best top one that we've had in quite a few years, it honestly doesn't really matter, because the level's cool as it is, and I really couldn't care less if it places top 10, top 5, or top 1, and honestly, it might just shift around a lot for the next couple years, because that sort of, like, Super Probably level has sort of done the same thing, because memory gameplay is so hard to compare to just normal Geometry Dash. So yeah, overall I think Limbo's a pretty good level. I wouldn't be making this video if I didn't think otherwise. If my voice sounds weird, that's because it's like 8 in the morning and I couldn't find another time to record this, and also I might be sick. I don't know, we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna try to upload a lot over the course of December, maybe like a 12 days of Wavix thing. If you would like to, you can join my Discord server, link is in the description. And if you like today's video, then please subscribe, it helps out the channel, and I'm hoping to get 10k before the end of the year, but I'm not cautiously optimistic, I guess. And um, yeah, see you in the next one.